Hi everyone, so in today's video, I am going to be writing my artwork. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be writing my artwork. Man, I'm Okay, I'm going to be writing my artwork. And I know, I've already done this before in another video. But that video was like a year ago. And I have gotten way better at art in just a year. Like, like way better. Way better. Um, so yeah, I've gotten way better at art than last year. So I am going to be writing some of my newest artwork on a scale of one to 10. Yeah, so I have a wide range. So yeah, let's just get into it. See you guys in a second. Okay, so first up, we have this daisy drawing. Also, ignore this little thing at the top. This is all in like one of my notebooks slash sketchbooks slash drawing journals. Um, so yeah, that's why this is above. See, it's also there's also one here. Um, but yeah, just focus on my artwork. <laughs> So basically, this is just some daisies, pretty self-explanatory, just some are floating off, some are in the corners, some are just big, some are just small, you know, we get it. And yeah, so these, it's a really cute drawing. Is it simple? Is Yes. Is it easy to draw? Yes. But is it a really cute design? Really pretty, really nice. Also, yes. So I'm going to think about this for a second. Hmm, okay, I'm done. So I would give this one, also, by the way, I'm rating this on a pretty high scale because I just have a certain style of art and, you know, other people might have different opinions because they might have a different style of art, but this is based off on my style of art. So I'm going to give this one a seven out of 10. You know, really cute, got some shading. Could it be more interesting? Yes, but is it adorable? Also, yes. Okay, on to the next. Also, eh, don't look. You guys might be wondering why my finger is in a splint. I was playing basketball and I jammed my finger, so therefore, you get a splint. Yeah, but I'm good now. Don't worry, I'm trying to do a thumbs up. It's not working. By the way, this is not blood, this is marker. Okay. So now we have this. It actually goes sideways, so I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna do you guys a favor and flip it so you can see it better. So it's this one actually is very adorable. And I was doing little drips, you know, cute stuff, little cool drips, shading. And I was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if I wrote something? So I wrote chill right here with cool lettering. I did some daisies on the side, some leaves, this little blob that was like dripping down. There's some daisies and leaves poking out of the drips. And I just love it because I feel like whenever you see the word chill, or I see the word chill, I just associate it with like green, calming things, and I find plants calming. And then of course we have our little ice cubes right here melting into a puddle of water because chill, ice cube. Get it? Get it? Mm -hmm. Okay, you get it. So, yeah. And I think this is absolutely adorable. I actually took a long-ish time on this. Probably took like half an hour, I would say. Yeah, great shading, cute idea, very creative, some shadowing. Yeah, so I would probably give this one... Also, I'm kind of rating these based off of what type of art it is you know like this has words in it and this is just more of like something really cute it's not the most like realistic yes but it's just like out of this style i'm rating it mainly so for like lettering and art i would give it a nine out of ten 
for me because I think it's really cute. Okay, I have found my next one. And don't pay attention to this. D don't look at it. You, you did not see that because it is unfinished. It is ugly. But these, on the other hand, these are cute. I'm trying to make an okay sound. There we go. So, first up, this one is a blue mouth. It's like, if you can see, you might not be able to see it too much on camera, but there's some blue shading around the mouth, then going out to light, or blue. And then we've got some braces, which is cool. I've got braces, so, yeah. I also made braces on this person's mouth. I think it's really good. By the way, I'm reading these individually because they're different, like, pieces, kind of. So, this is cute. The braces are a little messy. It's all a little bit messy. Also, wait, sorry. Ignore this because this is, like, just marker seeping through from the other page. Um, yeah. So, this is cute. I feel like it could have been a little neater, especially with, like, the braces and the shading around the mouth. So, I'm going to give it a... Oh, yeah, but I also really like, like, the teeth. There's some shadowing, shading, not shadowing. Why do I keep saying shadowing? Shading around the teeth. So, yeah, and the shape of the mouth is good. So, I'm going to give this one a solid 6 out of 10. You know, could have done better. Oh, actually, I also forgot to do highlights on this one. So, that gets bumped down to a 5 out of 10. Okay, I also didn't do highlights on this one. Where was my white Posca when I needed it? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> this is a yellow mouth, as you can see, yellow lips. This is honeycomb in the middle, some little honeycomb. And it's like popping out of the teeth. So like the teeth are biting into the honeycomb. And it's almost like the honeycomb gave the mouth its color. No, no, it didn't. I don't know. I'm just making this up randomly. I did not plan this. Okay, I'm just creating a whole story for this mouth in like a minute. Anyways, I think this is really cute. Again, you might not be able to see too well on camera because I don't have the best setup. Okay. Yeah, I don't. But it's cute. It got it's got some shadowing. Oh wait, what Oh my gosh. Guys, I just noticed something. I keep saying like, oh my gosh, you can't see it. You can't see it. Sorry about that. There's a thing called zooming in on editing apps. I don't know if you are aware. Anyways, back to the art though. This is, so this is really cute, I think. I think it's really adorable. The teeth have good shading. The honeycomb has really good shading. It really looks like realistic. It looks 3D. The mouth is a good shape, pretty good shading. So I'm gonna give this one a solid. Oh yeah, and again, I forgot highlights on this one. I just said that, I literally just said that. But yeah, so this might get a slightly low, lower rating just because it would look more realistic with highlights. So I'm gonna give this one an eight and a half out of 10. Oh, wait, actually, this only gets a 7.5 out of 10 because it would have been nice to do some shading right here, right here, you know. So, 7.5 out of 10. Really good. Could have been better. Okay, guys. So, this is a bit more speedy because I just noticed I'm running out of time for the video. So, enjoy this short, these short ratings. Okay. So, right now, we have our cute, sorry, my table does, is, like, slightly broken, so, like, sometimes I'll push down it, and, like, it'll pop up. We need a new table in here. Anyways, so this is a cute little coffee cup, um, or hot cocoa cup, if you're a hot cocoa person. I would say it could also be tea, but it doesn't really look like tea, so I'm gonna go with coffee. Even though I don't drink coffee, it looks like coffee. And it was meant to be a coffee cup. So, therefore, this is a coffee cup, everyone. Okay. So, yeah. Right here, we have a cute little coffee cup. Um, has some nice sh shading on the handle, the bottom. There's a little shadow coming out from the bottom. And then a little highlight. 
And then the coffee inside has also some shading. So at the bottom, you know, where it'd be going into the mug, it's darker and then it comes out lighter. So this is like a cute, nice cartoon mug, but it's also pretty realistic. I personally really like this one. So I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10. Okay. Next up, maybe last up, probably not though. I probably have a couple more things I can find in here. This is a relatively new notebook, so I don't have that much in here right now. Yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and get into the next page. It's all right there, it's just right there. Beautiful. So, right here we have a little, oh my gosh, my notebook is tilted. I'm so sorry for that bad angle, everyone. Okay, so right here we have a cute little book, and there is a flower pot on it. If you guys have ever seen, sometimes the little houses for decor, they'll have like a book and then a flower pot on top, and I just thought that was really cute, and I actually really like like decorating and stuff, so I got inspiration from that. So there's this little white flower vase, flower, yeah, it's a vase, uh-huh, it's a vase on a book it's like a little shadow going down because it's on the book there's the book some pages hard to see on camera don't worry guys i will zoom in and yeah so there's some pages in here there's some shading at the bottom i personally think this is really cute really like nice again cartoony but also realistic is cartoony a word i think yeah it's a word yeah it's a word okay <laughs> anyways just trying to correct my own grammar. Um, anyways, yeah. So, I think this is really cute. And I'm also going to give this one a 9 out of 10. Because I like it a lot. And yet another word and art design. Some lettering. Some art. Very cute. Very adorable. Also, happy is one of my favorite words. So... It was very fun making this one, trying to get my notebook centered. So sorry. Okay, the silence is over. So yeah, anyways, happy is one of my favorite words. And because, you know, it's just such a happy word. I love being happy. A lot of people love being happy. So this was really fun to make. I just literally thought of things that, like, represented happiness in my world, my personal world. Also, if you guys uh, couldn't tell already, I kind of have an obsession with drawing daisies and just nature things. So, flowers, plants, animals, stuff like that. Mainly flowers, though. I love drawing flowers and plants. Anyway, so we have a cute little daisy. A smiley face, a popsicle, because you know that good feeling when, like, it's a nice summer day, or just any day, honestly, and you just get a popsicle, it's a delicious popsicle, and it just makes you so happy. That is what that represents. And then we have some stars right here, because I just thought that was cute. Stars are, like, happy. And then a bee, and some people might be like, bees aren't happy, they sting you. And yes, I know bee stings hurt. I've gotten a couple in my lifetime. But, I just thought it was... Oh my gosh. Sorry about my shaky table, everyone. Um, I thought this was cute. So I decided to make a bee. Oh my gosh, I think I only have like... Oh no, but never mind. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get the timing out of this video. Ignore myself just getting distracted. Ig ignore me just getting distracted. Sorry. Anyway, but I thought this bee was cute because even though some people don't like bees, and I mean, I don't like when they sting me, but they pollinate tons of flowers and plants, and the world wouldn't be, like, wouldn't have as many flowers and plants at all without bees. So, bees are very special, and they just look so happy when they're buzzing around with their friends, going on plants, drinking that plant juice yeah anyways so i thought that this is cute also it matched the color scheme so i was like "Ooh, yellow animal or yellow insect b let's draw a b perfect 
perfect, perfect. So yeah, this is really cute. It has some little like confetti polka dots all over the things. Kind of looks like they're floating in their little bubbles of dots. And I think this is really cute. One thing that I wish though is that I did like a slightly better job of shading right on the letters and yeah but i think that this is still really good and really cute so i'm gonna give this an eight out of ten because it's a cute and simple design and i think that is where i'm going to end the video today thank you guys so much for watching and i really appreciate it and i will be back with another video sometime this week so I hope you enjoyed, and if you want, you can also, wait, and yeah, anyways, be sure to subscribe only if you want, and like that, and, and smash that like button if you enjoyed today's video and you enjoy my art. Thank you so much for watching, and have an amazing day.